Oprah's got a new BFF, Usher's estranged wife Tamika Raymond is pretty for a dark-skinned girl, and J-Hud gives birth to a bouncing baby boy. All that and more in this week's Hip Hollywood Weekly Wrap brought to you by Ford. Looks like Oprah has squashed her beef with rappers for now. Miss Winfrey was spotted in Marcy Projects, yes, in Brooklyn, with its most famous resident, Jay-Z. While there's been a ton of speculation about the duo's appearance in Jay's old stomping grounds, Oprah's best friend, Gail King, got to the bottom of things when she had O on her satellite radio show. That was a great interview, though. That's the thing about doing uh, uh, magazine interviews, O Magazine. For, because, for, for the, because, because it really is a bona fide conversation. Yes, and that conversation lasted two hours and there's no commercial and the person isn't there to sell anything. It's, yeah. it's really a conversation, so it was really great. And yet at the end of the day, you feel like you get to know the person. So at the end of the day, I felt like I made a friend. Yeah, that's true. Yep. I'm like, please yeah. email me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know if I believe you, Oprah. You're not gonna go through all that and not have a segment on your show. I think you've got something up your sleeve. And here's the thing, Jay-Z performed at what, one of 20,000 inauguration balls President Obama had earlier this year? How are you not gonna have him on your show? Moving on to two rappers who probably won't be on Oprah anytime soon. I'm talking about Slaughterhouse's Joe Buttons and Ray Kwan. Here's the deal. These two got into a little scuffle last weekend at Rock the Bells in San Bernardino, and um, I'm gonna let Joe explain it. Had a little incident on Saturday. Niggas came up in the room about six deep, and there's really no resolve in the situation. Because I got hit in the face. Well, almost hit in the face. Because I kind of dipped a little bit, so nigga kind of grazed my, my eye, but he hit my shoulder. So I don't know what stories is floating around the internet, but my shoulder's a little little out of whack. There was talk of reconciliation on the blogosphere and Twitterverse, but here's the deal. Just call it quits, stop beefing, and just continue to make great music. Speaking of which, Slaughterhouse's debut album was released on Tuesday, August 11th, and Ray's eagerly anticipated follow-up, only built for Cuban Links 2, drops on September 8th. The following story doesn't need any explanation, and fellas, thank me later. She's hot, okay? No hating around these parts. The recent photos of Amber Rose, the Ford model, surfaced on the internet, causing waves, and I'm pretty sure a few more girls to head to the barbershop to get a buzz cut. Moving on from a fellow light bright to a chocolate sister with a message. Tamika Raymond recently resurfaced on the net, and this time it had nothing to do with Usher. In a blog penned by Tamika that appeared in the Huffington Post titled, She's Pretty for a Dark Skin Girl, Tamika talked about the self-hatred within the black community between light skin and dark skin sisters. She says, In fact, I have read similar comments about myself that I am dark, aggressive, bossy, and bitchy. It has been stated that my husband should have been with a younger, more beautiful woman. Sadly enough, I don't know, nor have I met 99% of those making these assertions. She also opens up about the cosmetic surgery she underwent earlier this year that almost took her life. I nearly lost my life over something as superficial as having a flatter midsection and trying to adapt to society's traditional definition of beauty. As I nursed my psychological wounds, I began to realize that trying to live up to the prototypes of external beauty paled in comparison to the fact that I've undergone labor, subsequently being blessed to raise five handsome, smart, healthy, intuitive, and happy children. I, for one, am really, really happy that this issue is being talked about. Hopefully, there can be an intelligent discourse about it. America's favorite and least dysfunctional parents and stars of MTV's Run's House, Reverend Run and his wife Justine, can now add best-selling authors to their resume. We caught up with them here in LA while they were signing copies of their book, Take Back Your Family, How to Raise Respectful and Loving Kids in a Dysfunctional World. Here's what they had to say. When the show came out, it was popular right out the bat. But then as we walked the streets, people would come up to us and say, oh my God, we love your family so much. You guys need to make a book. So that was the catalyst. That was the reason that we said, let's go forth in this. And then, obviously, the, the show, we, we set out for it to be a teaching show. 
and it's, it's an inspiring show to inspire people back to family. So we said, let this book be an extension of the show. Rev Run and his wife Justine's book is available in stores and online now. You can also catch them and their daughters on the new season of Daddy's Girls on MTV. Moving on to another happy family, we'd like to congratulate Jennifer Hudson and her fiance David on the birth of their brand new baby boy, David Daniel Atunga Jr. David Jr. was born on Monday, August 10th, weighing 7 pounds and 14 ounces. Once again, congrats. Finally, before I wrap it up, looks like those Kardashian girls just cannot stay out of the spotlight. This time though, it's Courtney, and word on the street is that she's preggers. Is it true? I guess you'll have to find out on HipHollywood.com. I'm Yasmin, see you guys next week.